Mr. Gigabytes here, and today we're going to uh, we're going to test out this Vic 20 and make sure it works okay and everything. Now I've done a lot of this work uh, previously. Uh, just interest of full disclosure, um, but let me tell you how I did it. This Vic 20. It's a gold label Vic 20. And the power port has got a uh, kind of a square two-prong uh, power cord on it. Well, that, that seemed pretty simple enough. Uh, they still make, you know, these types of, uh, these types of plugs. So the first thing I did, uh, I went out to Walmart and just bought a, just a figure of eight plug. And I plugged it in and sure enough it fit. So I went ahead and I uh, chopped off the end, wired a couple of terminal uh, terminal pieces to it, and the first transformer I tried was actually not that one, it was this one. This is a doorbell transformer. I just picked this up at, at uh, Menards. The, the neat thing about this is it's got multiple voltages. So these two pins are, uh, or these two uh, terminals are 8 volts, these two are 16 volts, and then these two are 24 volts, and they're all AC. Well, I measured it, and sure enough, it was putting out 9.5 volts, which is what I suspected. The problem was, when I plugged it into the VIC-20, it, it did work, but it was just a terrible, almost unusable. So, I knew I, was, I, knew I had output. 9.5 volts with no load. You'd think it would have worked, but the minute it gets inside the computer, you are uh, you're actually drop 2 volts. Um, so in, outside the computer it was 9.5, inside the computer it was 7.5. So clearly I wasn't providing enough power to the computer. So what I did is I went on eBay and I got a 9 volt transformer and these are used for might be able to see this is says Honeywell on it. This is used for security systems. Uh, I've used these types of transformers before. They work great, very long, long lasting. I got my little figure of eight power supply. I just screwed the terminals onto here. Now there's a ground pin that's not connected. This is the, this is for uh, uh, device ground. Um, you have to actually connect it to both AC terminals. The other thing you have to do use a little uh, q-tip. I took all the cotton off the end of a q-tip and when I plugged it in I kind of stuck it up underneath here because the VIC-20 has actually got another switch to prevent you from doing exactly what I just did. Um, there's a little tiny switch and it's that button, it's that uh, this right here it's actually it's actually a button so when you insert the cord it pushes the button down so I took my q-tip and just kinda jammed it in there and pushed that button down and that's what we got uh, and then it and then it worked just fine so I'm gonna take some obviously green uh, electrical tape I'm gonna take my q-tip and we're just gonna go around this a couple of times so that from now on, it will push down on that button whenever I plug this in, like so. I'm going to take the uh, some diagonal cutters. And I'm just going to trim this off. Now trim off the excess tape here. And you can do this with scissors. It might be a little easier to do it with scissors instead of a diagonal cutter. But my diagonal cutter is nice and sharp. So there we go. Now I can, should be able to plug this in. And it should press down on that little switch automatically. And I can see that it does. I'm not sure if you can see it in the picture or not. So let's go ahead and plug this in. I've got... Uh, I got the RF modulator, and it plugs in with this five volt or this five pin uh, DIN plug into the display port on the back here. 
This, of course, didn't have an internal RF modulator. We're going to take the uh, take the brick and plug it in. Now, I've got it working on my monitor here. This is actually a, a television. So I've got an RF input on the back. I've used a uh, just an RF plug to RCA on this. And that work, that seems to work just fine. I've, I've used that on many uh, televisions uh, for a long time. You actually don't need that, that, that bulky RF computer or RF switch there. I'm going to turn the monitor on first. What I had to do, because this is a newer television, was to make it search for the channel. And so I turned this on, let it search for the, for the channel, and obviously it's on three. It, uh, it found it. And then I just turned it off once it found it. Uh, now I've got the TV set up to uh, to view channel three. And it's not the greatest picture in the world. I think there might be the this uh, RF modulator is definitely getting on in years, and, and you're not going to have the greatest picture with this uh, with an RF modulator anyway. But that's uh, but that's it. So obviously this is working. The next video I do, we're going to play some we're going to play some video games on it. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching.